Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 22 of the Autodesk Maya 2017 training series. So today we're going to do something called the bouncing ball animation which is a baseline animation for animators. So for that what I got, I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take 20 frames because I want the animation to be quite short. So whenever the ball bounces and in animation, it actually squashes and stretches. So I want to use that as an example here. So for that, I'm going to grab a cube. Okay, so I can grab a cube to make a ball and then I can actually smooth that out. I can directly grab the spear, but I prefer using this because it maintains quad faces. So I'm going to press cube once. Okay, and I'm going to do the division to two right here. And there you go. There's the ball. All right, so I want to do the squash and stretch animation to this. So I'm going to stop the ball from over at the top. So let's say I want the translation. OK, I'm going to set both of these zero. I want it to be center and translation Y. Maybe I want to set them around. OK, let me just increase the size of, uh, for a ball a bit. All right, there you go. Uh, so two, two, two. That's the perfect size. I want to just remember the um, no, remember the values right there. So I'm going to keep it simple. So I'm going to say 20. That's my value that I want to use. And then I'm going to set the key. So I want the ball to drop here. So on frame one, I'm going to right click on this and key selected. So this way, only my translate Y is keyed. So on the 10th frame, I want to bring this down somewhat like this. I'm going to go beyond uh, the actual uh, point so that I can squash it out later on. So it's 0 0.6. Let's keep it 0 0.5 so that it's easy for me to remember again. Key selected and it'll go back to the same spot actually. So it's going to be back to 20. So if I keep simple values, then I remember. So I'm going to key selected. So if I were to play this, you can actually see that the ball is bouncing, but it is the accelerating at the end. So for this, I'm going to use the graph editor that we learned in the previous lesson to actually give it a bouncing ball like effect. So I'm going to go to my windows. I'm going to go to my general editors and then where did you go? Okay, animation editors and then graph editors. All right. So here you can see that the ball is deaccelerating and accelerating and deaccelerating. And this is the spot where the ball bounces. So I don't want it to deaccelerate here. So I'm going to break the tangents over here. So break it, make it straight. And now let's play the animation. And you can see that now we have a bouncing like effect. It actually seems like it is bouncing, but it is not enough. So I want this to bounce quickly. So I'm going to break the tangents over here and then give it this kind of a shape just like this. Let me just drag this. Let me select my scale tool. Okay. So I'm going to just select do this and give it this kind of a shape. You know why? Because now this actually will seem like it is bouncing. So if I were to play this, you can see that now it actually seems like it is bouncing. But at the top, you can just st still see that there's a bit of a bouncing like effect, which I do not want. So on the top part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the tendon so that it is actually this kind of shape. So there's like a linear fall down of the ball and then fall out. So I'm just going to do this and there you go. So if I were to play this, it actually looks like a proper bouncing ball now, which actually looks good. So now what I want to do is I want to use the squash and stretch effect right there. So if I were to play this, you can see that there's the bouncing ball right there. The motion seems fine, but I want this to squash and stretch. So on the top, I want this to squash a bit. All right, so I want this to squash a bit. Okay. Now I gotta close up my Facebooks or disconnect my internet so that I don't don't get messages right there. All right, so off this out. So over here, what I want to do is I want to bounce this ball right here. So let's bounce the ball and create an animation. So over here, I'm gonna squash this a bit. Let's say scale is zero. Uh, okay, scale, I'm gonna do 1.2, uh, 1 okay? 1 1.2 is my scale. I'm gonna add in a key, key a frame to this. And once this squashes, this actually increases. So I uh, reduce this by 0.8. So I'm gonna do 0.8 here as well. 2.8 over there and 2.8 over there. So select both of these and key selected. All right. Once it goes over here in the center, what, uh, I, what I actually want this to be is I want this to scale out now. So I want this to be like around 2.8 maybe, quite the opposite. 
and let's say I want this to scale out even further like 3 uh, that's it maybe just 2.8 uh, 2 is fine 2.8 right there and I'm gonna do 1.2 for these two now so 1.2 so now it actually stretches uh, stretches out from the side just like that and then I'm gonna do key selected right here key selected okay so now I have this kind of an animation all right and then on the 10 I want this to squat so squash all right so press the scale Hold the middle mouse button and then just drag this out to get the value you like. All right. So the value I like is 0 0.2. So I don't have to be too precise, but let me just say 3.2. So it is actually squashing very much right there. All right. So I can over exaggerate and I'm going to press key selected. Once it goes back, it actually goes back to the same value as this. So 1.2, 2.8, 1.2. So over here, uh, 1.2. And over here is 2.8 and 1.2 again. So I'm going back to the value. And then I'm going to press key selected just like this. Okay, over here. And then now over here onto the side, I'm going to select this value 2.8, 1.2, 2.8 again because the animation simply reverses back. So it's 2.8, 1.2, 2.8, 2.8. Then it's uh, 1.2. And again, 2.8 again. So select all of these and right click key selected. So let's see how the animation actually looks right now. So if I were to play this, you can see that the animation actually happens. But I guess like the uh, distance can increase. This is not actually looking like a proper animation. So the bouncing distance seemed to be a bit less because the ball is too big. So I'm going to do around 40 key selected okay proper animation now and over here i'm gonna say 40 and key selected as well now let's see how it looks okay now it seems like a proper bouncing ball animation so now this accelerates squats and stretches to give a realistic like effect and this is actually what we use in animation so i can smooth that out now and see how the results look and look it looks fantastic I can add in some secondary animations there as well. So let's say I'm just gonna grab a plane just like that. And then I'm in, in gonna increase, uh, let's say three by three. And then I'm gonna do a bit of an animation over there. So let me just drag this to the side. All right, there you go. So I'm gonna do something like a bouncing animation like that. So let's say when my ball actually reaches uh, to this section, it actually squashes. So I'm going to do my face animation. I'm going to select my face, go to the ninth frame, press S, go to 10, move this down right onto the section where this bounces, press S, go back. I'm going to move this to the front just like this. On the 13th, let's say on the 14th, I want this back. On the 16th, I want this a bit front again. And on the 17th, I want this back on the same spot where it started. All right, so let's see how this looks now. So you can see that there's a bouncing like effect. And if I were to smooth this out, it'll look like a piece of fabric right there. So if I were to press three, there you go. This actually looks like it is bouncing up off of a trampoline. So this is how you create an animation. So you can play, play, do a play blast of this to create an interesting feel right there you want to see. So if you try this exercise, then you can create any type of a motion graphics out there. So if you do this, then you can actually make any type of animations that you wish for uh, in motion graphics. You cannot make just like this, and this is a very good um, start for exercising your animation technique. So let me just do a play blast for this. Right click on it and then do a play blast for this. Uh, it actually is over, over, overwriting my previous file, so that's okay for me. So I'm just gonna do a play blast, and there you go, there's my play blast right there. Okay, and it looks fantastic. So if you have, um, um, it, so you have to, uh, this is a pretty um, process that needs to get used to. So you need to practice this a lot before you can get it perfectly right. So, but once you do it, then you can create any type of animation you want. So that's it. And as always, hope you guys learned something. And as always, please like, comment, 